Dog news, election coverage, stump debates. Hey, Ryan, it's Lemon Jello. You were the lemon as president. At least my name's not this Bipartisanship and physical challenges. And now to our studios in Hollyweird for Stump. Now it's time for the first of our presidential debates. Hosted by our very own news babe, Candy Cotton. Thanks guys. It's so exciting to be here hosting this debate between Bob Hiscock and Shauna Lamangelo. Let's meet the candidates now. Mr. Hiscock is a Republican from Indiana who lists debate as one of his top skills. In fact, he is a master debater. Hi folks. Ms. Lamangelo is a former independent turned Democrat who especially enjoys debating science in math. In fact, she's an especially good math debater. I see what you did there. Okay, White House mates, round one is general knowledge. Hands on buzzers, please. Okay, first question. Presidential candidate Bob Hiscock has been slow to release his tax returns. Has he released them yet? Yes, I released them earlier this morning, every other page, and the numbers were redacted. Correct! Okay, next question. 47% of Americans see themselves as what? Addicted to bucket-sized overpriced coffee. Correct! Okay, next question. If 5x plus 35 equals 215, what does x equal? 36. I am a math debater, not to be confused with... I object. What does this have to do with the election? I only ask the tough questions, and polls indicate that Americans, while worried about the economy, are more concerned with what a presidential candidate looks like on TV, and even more importantly, whether or not he or she would be fun at a party. But what does a math question have to do with that? My debate, my questions, my rules. Now on to round two. This is where I ask very specific questions delving into your policies, starting with the winner of round one. And this is where I give the voters in-depth, but not too specific insights into my ideas for fixing the economy. And this is where I attack your ideas for not being specific enough. And this is where I defend myself against your attacks. And this is where I continue to attack you for being a whiny liberal and convince the electorate in non-specific terms why my economic policies would be better. And this is where I interrupt and lean on you both for not being specific enough, prodding you with leading questions. And this is where I pretend to answer your question by answering around it. And this is where I use circular reasoning to attack my opponent, making sure to avoid using his name. Okay, no clear winner in that round. So on to round three, the lightning round. Hands on buzzers, please. If you were an animal, which animal would you be and why? A lion, because he's the king and I want to be king. I'm for small government, that is, no government except for me. Then I can make the rules and I'll leave the Republicans alone and scare the shit out of the un-American party. You had your house sprayed for them, but there are still Occupy protesters in your living room. So, spay or neuter? That's a true question. They're in the dining room. How many electoral votes does it take to change a light bulb? Depends which swing state you're in. How many swingers does it take to elect a president? Uh, some. Can you be more specific? I'm a politician, so no. Correct. Boxers or briefs? Boxers. Only whiny liberals get their panties at a twist. And at the end of that final round, the winner is... Me! Great debate, you guys! Well, thanks, Candy. I think after that performance, we have a much clearer picture of who the candidates are and what they stand for. We do? <laughs> Precisely, mate. Also, Candy, our very own beauty queen, has certainly proven herself as a myth debater. You couldn't resist, could you? Nope. Join us next time on Stump.